Hey, hi, hello, it's your free-for-all friend Cam here with some more wins for you today as we level up our WSP-9. Uh, please don't mind me if I sound a little quieter or weirder than normal. It's like 4 a.m. right now. Uh, so I gotta be careful with the noise, you know? Um, I passed out on the couch. <laughs> and uh, I'd want to get these done, actually, a couple days ago. I passed out on the couch two nights ago, too. <laughs> um, but then also, the GTA 6 trailer dropped. And uh, holy hell, did Rockstar bring it or what? Like, wow, I, was, I wasn't I was expecting to be hyped. I was expecting some good stuff, but I wasn't expecting to be hyped. Um, and so some of our uh, community members in our Discord uh, on stream, they asked me to react to it. And so we did that. We did that live on our last stream. So I'm actually going to link that reaction in the description and uh, maybe throw it up in the top right uh, corner there for you. Uh, feel free to check that out. It was actually uh, really fun to watch. So, um, yeah, where was I here? Right. Um, we uh, got, we, yeah, we got, we, <laughs> oh, man, I got to go back to sleep. We, uh, we got some wins here for you, as we do, and uh, I'll tell you, leveling up low guns in free-for-all when you're in these SBMM lobbies can really do a number on you. It did to me during the last session. This gameplay is actually a session I did end of last week, I think. Um, yeah, I won't lie, guys, actually. <laughs> I got railed, uh, wrecked, ruined, uh, like just rag-dolled. I took more L's in that session than I think I have since we picked up the game. And not only did I take L's, man, my KD in those matches were bad as well. By the way, um, how are you liking that season, the, the new season so far? Um, are you enjoying playing with your meat? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the, what is it? The meat 24-7? You know, that's like the, that's one of the playlists for that, that meat map, right? I think that's what I saw. I swear, like, meat 24-7. <laughs> Just... It's uh, man, I'm like a middle school kid in my head. It's 4 a.m. Leave me alone. That could like be a B or C grade softcore porn flick. No cap, right? It, oh, it could be like a uh, the name of a male escort house. <laughs> the girls are going down to meet 24 seven, man. <laughs> anyway, um, I haven't played yet since the season dropped. I was supposed to get on last night, like I said, but I passed out, and now I'm recording this, at uh, putting this together at 4 a.m. So, anyway, I've said from the beginning, get back on track here, my my goal as a free-for-all player, first and foremost, is to be in the winner's circle every game and have a high win-loss record. That's the point of free-for-all, to win, right? Second to that is KD. It's just a way to measure how well I'm improving in general. So this whole session was an exercise in patience, I'll tell you that, man. And, you know, while I'll scream SBMM from the rooftop uh, with this game, during my last session, I'm also to blame here. Uh, there was definitely times I just couldn't clutch anything. I couldn't get key kills. I didn't adapt to the other players in the lobby. Uh, definitely missed shots and opportunities. Um, and I will say, in spite of this being like the worst session I've had, we still increased our win-loss ratio in KD. Not by much, but it was still moving in the right direction. Uh, I'm just going to pop up. Here's the before stats when I started the session on the night, and then I'll switch it over to where we ended the night. Okay, so our win loss is 1. Uh, 1. 1.5, KD 1.2. Can we improve on this with a couple of matches here? Let's find out. Uh, well, it was a rough night, I feel. <laughs> rough night. How do we end up? How did we end up? I don't. I think my kitty would have, is gonna go down. I think. You know what? I think our win loss went up. I think we actually went up. And this is on a shitty night. So even on a shitty night, if our KD's going up and our win loss is going up. I'll take it. And for all of you, you know. Cod couch pros out there looking at my stats and laughing. You know, I'm cool with that. It's, you know what, no big deal. Um, most likely, there's so many people with better stats than me, and, and I get it. Just remember, I'm just a dad who only has a short amount of time to play, right? I mean, I got family, chore responsibilities, I got work, I'm driving people to activities and their work and school, right? And then I'm also maintaining our, my own streaming schedule, which we do um, every two nights, by the way. Come say hi. Um, but that's why I put emphasis on seeing improvement in my win-loss in KD. 
obviously I want to see them go up a lot, but when you have a crap night and you still have positive progress, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, my stats aren't super high at this moment, but with progress, I fully expect them to keep going up, which is how I have always measured my success and ability as a free-for-all player, uh, going back all the way to Resistance 1. So while the stats aren't high right now, each video and, and as we do streams and stuff, my hope and my plan is that these stats are going to keep going up. You see the win-loss ratio go to 2, to 3, to 4, right? KD going up and up and up, right? So, what is the fucking point of this commentary and footage? You may ask, like, where are we going with this? <laughs> um, 4 a.m., remember. So, aside from showing some wins here for you, which we do, the main point of this specific video is that, at least in free-for-all, no lead is ever safe, okay? The algorithm is going to constantly do everything it possibly can to make sure the game goes down to the wire. Um, for our first example here, we actually tie a tie like i don't remember ever a tie happening in free for all since i've been playing call of duty which is i started really in cod world war 2 i don't know if it, they ever did that before usually they take the person with the higher kd uh, in the match they give them first place to break the tie right or sometimes they might use score i guess maybe right um but nope not this time, you know, so I refuse to accept this bullshit here. I'm, I'm claiming the first place win on this one. Fuck the tie. And you'll notice, a shout out to my previous video here, uh, where I was saying that these maps aren't good for free-for-all. It was another timeout W, right? It wasn't because we got to 30 kills because the time ran out. So I got, you know, I got a bunch more of those videos for you in the next one. Um, but the game seems to manufacture kills and comebacks when it wants to and where it needs to in it. In its opinion, it's like we're talking about this thing. It's like it's a living thing, for fuck's sake. Right? So it does that. The algorithm uh, does that by um, you know, mainly by spawn points, right? You're either spawning, you're getting spawned in the middle of buttfuck nowhere when you're trying to catch up or you're trying to keep your lead, right? You can't find anybody in the whole freaking world but the person in front of you in, in the, the scoreboard. Or the person behind you trying to catch up, they just magically run off three to five kills in a few seconds. It seems they have everyone and their dog around them. Like the popular kid at school, right? You'll be in a part of a map where you know the foot traffic is high. Normally, people spawn there all the time. It's a high traffic area where there's lots of action, right? Except for now. Where you are on the map becomes a fucking ghost town, right? I've shown it on some of my free-for-all streams on Cold War, Right? Um, I'll talk about it in, in the game footage here as well. So I'm going to let that speak for itself to make my points for me. Um, so go enjoy your meet 24-7. <laughs> okay. Uh, come say hi on stream. Like I said, we're live every two days enjoying all sorts of games. Um, tonight we'll be doing a co-op with Alien Fireteam Elite. Um, and then in December's schedule that I dropped a few days ago, uh, we're going to be doing some Modern Warfare 3 free-for-all streams as well. So hopefully you can come by for that. Let me know uh, your free-for-all experience. Let's chat about your COD experience so far. Love to see you in chat for that. Um, the calendar's in the community section on the YouTube channel here. It's also posted on all the streaming channels that we're at. So feel free to check that out. And uh, we'll, we'll see if we can keep improving our stats live on stream during those sessions, all right? So with that being said, take care. Have a good one. I'm going back to bed. I'm a little bit... Nah, I got this spot, bitch. Keep coming. We ain't gonna camp at those, keep looking. Here we go. Yo, my rate of fire is ass on that gun, though. <clears throat> Copy. UAV is on station. Recon online. Unlucky.
Why would he turn around? Why would he do that? Like, I don't... That makes no sense to me. There's no reason for him to do it. Yeah, I cleared people out of here fast. What? Okay. Yo, this is gonna time out. Come on, man. <laughs> this is like my best game of the night, and that's scary. This was my best game of the night? Ugh. Match is a tie. I couldn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good job, SBMF, baby. And part of that is me not being able to find anyone to clutch. It shouldn't be a tie. I had a better KD. There's, I shouldn't, there shouldn't be a tie. Shouldn't be a tie. That's bullshit. It's been that type of night, guys. I think we're four and two. I'm like, it's my first. I'm calling that first place. Fuck all. Fuck, fuck this. Like, I couldn't find anybody. And notice, I, I've said it before, no lead is safe in this game. None. Like, you take your foot off the gas for a second just because you can't find someone or whatever. Game will let people catch up like that. No lead is fucking safe. Ooh, almost got that. Yo. See? He's got five already. Nice double, I'll take it. Damn it. Oh man, I was stuck in a tough, uh, tough spot. Yeah, his guns got faster, uh, rate of fire than me. Yeah, one though. Oh shit! Uh, sure, I'll take it. I, I don't get it, but I'll take it. I'm chasing. Dude. <laughs> Hostile UAV in the area. No. Third one. Why well, it's tough having a, such a small clip. It has a slow rate of fire, but apparently it's more powerful, which I think I see that. Sound horror. Hello? Oh, dude, I thought. Yo, 
where is everybody? Come on! You know what? I thought I saw someone and I was right. I fucked up. Unlucky, man. That double, baby. Damn it! I was like right in the middle of everybody. <laughs> Go in circles here. Can't find nobody. Mm, out of ammo. I need that bigger clip. Third one's getting me. Woo. Yeah, I'm all... <sighs> We're trading a lot. <sighs> Is there a third? Push. Nah, my trigger fear wasn't good enough. We're up four. Can we close this out? Where are we? Bro. Left or right? Right. Hello? Hostile UAV in the area. Like no one around me right now. Are they up top? Two. Notice how no one's around me anymore. I gotta go looking for it. High game. I gotta lose this one. No one spawning around me. Take that back. Copy that. Ah, oh, that was the win right there. I guess we got the win like you, do you see how that was like with SBMM the way it is 
a lead is never safe. You notice how, like, the last, like, when I had, like, 23 kills and above, I, like, where people normally are, two ends of the map, people usually are always there. They were there all of a sudden for some reason. You know, just something, like, you know? First half of the map, everyone was there. Like, you think everyone collectively just decided, well, we're not going to spawn there anymore. Like, right? Something seemed off. And, and, and that's what SBMM does, right? It makes you question the flow of the map. It's not like, oh, you know, people were making smarter plays and getting out of there, right? They knew that it was too busy and, and they were giving kills to me, so they stayed away. You know, I, I, I can't, it doesn't seem like they'd be that smart. Randomly, you know? Ah, that was an ugly win. Like, that just was like, eh. Eh. It felt like the game wasn't close because the other players were good. Or even I was good. It feels like that ending was manufactured. Does that make sense? It feels like the game said, oh, let's... It's like we're in the fucking Hunger Games. And there's a game maker saying, ooh, here's how we're gonna make this match go. You know, it feels like that. There's a game maker. Every match is being manipulated in, in real time. And there's patents for this shit. Activision has patents. So it's like, don't tell me it's not, it, 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 it's not, potentially not a thing. Come on. Cause I've been grinding all night.